Lights come to you week in and week out. Prophet of the the Most High, the Seventy Son. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Kadash. Never lie to the apostles of New York, the Great Stone of GMS. I just saw I came around the planet. Let the name of Yahweh White, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. Um, we are here in GMS Chicago. We have some guests uh, from GMS Los Angeles. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the spirit as you see the title. Oh, yes, right, GMS Wisconsin, GMS Indiana, you know what I'm saying? Even some, sometimes quasi-GMS Houston, you know, sometimes Dallas, sometimes. I don't want to bounce around a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yes. But, uh, uh, but all praise to have the Father for the brothers to come over and be able to fellowship. You know, the apostles resting upstairs, and the YC will be downstairs, what he gave us so, up. So, um, and so about, bottom line, you see the title says, uh, I see the missile fire will be raining down on you. And um, we were just thinking about, you know, a topic, you know, thinking about open forum and so forth. And I was putting up a, just a generic title, GMS, you know, Los Angeles, and in Chicago. And then the brother, I ties along the elder brother from uh, uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, he came in a room singing a song that we used to sing back on the line uh, at camp, back the way uh, State and Van Buren days, which was uh, 12, 13, 14 you know, years ago. It was a long time ago. And um, we'll get different random scoffers who come up, Edomites, even niggas, bastards, whoever, bitches, whatever. And once in a while, when they piss us off enough, when it's like all, all we can do is mock you back. You know what I'm saying? You know, like the scripture says, uh, uh, with stammering lips and another tongue, somebody get that real quick. You know? And we, so we sang, you know, we got mad, you know, so, and uh, we say, man, we just put a merry is, but we, a matter of fact, they get mad at the sign. Um, ICBM missile sign fires, like, well, that's what's going to come to America. And America's military is that's just and that, and all the stuff we've heard our whole life about how America's going to live forever. The inner thoughts. Is that they should look forever because somebody get that too. Yeah, um, and, uh, the main sign they used to scoff was the Russia oh, yeah. sign yep. because they basically were laughing yeah. about the fact that the Soviet Union was dismantled. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. yeah, we destroyed something, <laughs> you know, and, but you know, you didn't understand, you don't get the fact that the Lord was going to bring it back, you know. Yeah, and I'm scared really now about them bringing, uh, well, bringing in uh, Ukraine. You know? yeah. What is he's trying to bring the whole old Soviet Union back, you know? So that's the spirit, because even in the Spanish camp, they would laugh about that. They'll yeah. look at you, they'll, uh, and it'll be like uh, Eastern European yeah. Europeans that will come up, and they'll look at the sign, and as soon as they'll read USSR, they'll start looking at that, and they'll laugh, yeah. and they'll say, oh, they've been dismantled. Yeah. They're going to come back in a great fashion, man. They prophesied about God. That's God it. God is going to be a, a, a guard, you know? Yes. That's it. I have that uh, stammery lips for you. This is uh, Isaiah 28 and 11. For with stammery lips and another tongue will he speak to his people. Right, so he's speaking into, you know, stammering lips. Going to we mock you and we ridicule you. Sometimes we speak foolish or we speak. Uh, we're not coming with fancy speech. We're not coming to you with, you know, the letters of Harvard degrees. All right? We come to you plain and raw. And you know sometimes comical, <laughs> right? And sometimes um, you know very, it's awful in the spirit and power of the Lord. So it's got the you know like what's that? Somebody get uh, kept gains in, um, you know what's what I mean? Uh, gains in. You know, to, you, the, the truth. If you really have the truth, they, 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 no one can say anything. Man. You know, so they can scoff, they can say what they want. They keep trying to, you know, vocab tries to find a hundred million different ways. Well, now let me try to see this. Oh, well, maybe now this. 
on now. Hey, what don't what try to say something about Sakari with the eighty-two things he said against Paul? Yeah. Like, we just always want to be nigga, uh, if you were a true so-called Christian and believe these scriptures, after two uh three admonitions, you be you supposed to reject. Yeah. You supposed to be moved on. Yeah. And went to the ministry, which is what? Repeat preaching repentance and reconciliation to you. How about you may have a shot? Alright? You so focus on us, that's how you find out the bullshit. All right. So go ahead, brother. Yeah, I got you. It says uh, Luke 21 and 15. It says, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. That's right. So we, the Lord has given us that mouth, that spirit. And so we will tell people that, uh, you know, we'll break it down scientifically, medically, every, in every other way, scripturally, spiritually, the whole nine, how um, what was going on in the Middle East, what's going on in Russia, what's going on in the world today. Um, the weapons to Satan 2, to Satan 3, the bombs, this and that, the yeah. prophecies to hold on. People don't want to believe it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to prove it again, and it's coming really close, close now, yeah. because of what's going on with Hamas, what's going on with uh, uh, Israel, yeah. and how we, everybody knows we don't have to go into, if you want to spirit wants to, on how they just so-called snuck all through one of the most highly defense, defended borders mm -hmm. on the planet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just mysteriously, uh, yeah. You know, it's crazy. The brother Tazama over there in GMS Dallas, the spirit jumped on that brother to do a search on. Uh, people are now typing in on Google, am I going to be drafted in World War III? Mm -hmm. And it was, it's rates, it's been hyped up in rates of people Googling that search. Yeah. It's trending now. It's trending now. Mm. So, I'm, I'm sorry. No, 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 finish, no, finish, finish, finish what you're saying. That I was, no, 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 I was actually finished. I, kind of, well, I was going to say, Going back to that scripture where it speaks about um, the gain says shall not resist. Now, in the beginning with the apostles, we've been speaking about World War III. And we've been speaking about the destruction to come. Now, you remember, people wouldn't talk, people with these podcasts and shit, what they're doing now, wasn't nobody talking about World War III. Wasn't nobody talking about nuclear warfare. They scoffed at it. Yeah. Remember, they, they was talking shit. They were scoffing at it. That's not going to happen. Yeah. But everybody is talking about nuclear threats. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> so, Papa Kusha, read that scripture again. Because you. you can't resist what Yahweh Hashem Al Shah set in stone. Mm. You see? Exactly. Yeah. Everybody was talking shit, laughing, mm -hmm. scoffing for years. Mm -hmm. But so. now they see that these prophecies is really happening. But they ain't going to admit it. Um, <laughs> oh, well, we've been watching these Israelites. Specifically, let's be honest, Great Millstone, because we were the only camp that, began with the apostles, has been speaking about America's destruction. Right, that's right. Nobody's been speaking about America's destruction that's right. or World War Three besides <laughs> Great Millstone. That's right. Okay? So, this scripture right here is, is happening right now. They, ain't, they can't resist what we've been saying. Mm -hmm. They may not admit that they got it from us, but everybody's speaking about World War Three. Right. That's why people said, um... Let's uh, thou say my idol have done it. Mm -hmm. He said, I basically I declared these things from the beginning. Mm -hmm. No, you ain't gonna be able to attribute none of this, none of this stuff that's happening to anything but Yahweh Bash me out shot, man. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't gonna attribute it to Albert Pike. Uh -huh. Come yeah. out his fucking dream about having uh, no, what World War Three and World War One. Yeah, yeah. uh, no, that was already written, man. It said the third war cometh quickly, man. Okay. Hey, John, uh, John the Revelator described the the war planes in the Book of Revelations, man. Mm -hmm. World War One, World War. It's all right there, bro. That's right. It's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in the scriptures. All okay. roads lead to the scriptures. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's just back in that Luke twenty one and fifteen. Mm -hmm. It says what. Well, it says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, mm -hmm. which all your adversaries should not be able to gainsay, so, nor remember, resist. It says, I will give you. So what we speak in, we speak in the scriptures. We speak in what the Lord has set up. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will give you the mouth. So we are the mouthpiece of the Lord. Right. We are the mouthpiece of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Whether you like it, believe it, understand it or not. It's in the scriptures. They whether they want to believe it or not. And we don't That's give it. a fuck if you believe it. Whether they're here or they're forbear. That's it. Because uh, Hosea 12 and 10 said, uh, I, I'm, um, uh, I speak, yeah, I have spoken by the mouth of the prophets. If you look at, I have spoken. The, Amos 3 and 7 says, surely the Lord God will do nothing, not, nothing mm -hmm. but but reveal it for secret to a service the prophets. And, you know, even that was another classic 
um, thing we would do when we would teach, we would give examples of nothing, where it's absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> All right? But so he says, I have spoken by the prophets. Well, so, motherfuckers, are you a prophet? And these motherfuckers, no, they're not. So don't come against them in the Lord who are proving it. Yeah. All right? And we're showing it, and we're backing it up with the scriptures, but... All right. Only the righteous going to hear. Can I say okay. something? Yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of young men signed up for what's called selective service. Yeah. Now, if you sign up for selective service and a, and a draft comes, you know, which which a lot of you in high school you probably signed it and don't didn't know you well, signed yep, it. Yep, yep. Didn't know they told you had to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, you sign you signed that, that shit. Yep. You signed that shit, and and now men what eight what what eighteen through twenty seven. Are going to automatically be. be they moved it up to forty-five. Ooh, ooh! They moved it up to forty-five. Yeah. That's part of the, That was part of the. Uh, <laughs> if they haven't passed yet, it was up to my knowledge. Um, somebody can Google it to fact check. Get rid of the blood. Um, this um, shit. Um, the possible <laughs> 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 man, I'm gonna tell them that your call ain't done no nothing words. to me, man. <laughs> I got no qualms. <laughs> you know what I'm Hey, but but if if you if you if they come if they call you to war yeah. and you and you refuse. You will be considered a deserter, mm -hmm. and a des the the uh, the law of a deserter, the penalty for being a deserter, is death. Oh, you can you can be put to death for that. Mm -hmm. They can they can they can. That's why they that's why they got all these laws. Yeah. That's why they bring out all these laws where they can where they can kill you by a firing squad. Yeah. Okay. You know you know you know remember they got the they had the firing squad law. Yeah. They gonna bring that out when the draft comes and people say no I don't want to do it. And they're gonna kill. They're gonna say if you gonna if you gonna go to this war, we're gonna kill you right now with fire and squad. That's they, the they show you. Uh, that's the they show you that movie, uh, Saving Private Ryan, mm -hmm. when that one dude wanted to go AWOL. Yep. He was like, "Dude, was like I'm gonna shoot your ass." Yep. Mm -hmm. He's like, "I'm gonna shoot you because I don't like you, nigga." You know, so you go shoot him, man. That's Let's gonna make many people out. compromise in that day. Yep. Yep. And now, as, as you're saying it, just my thoughts already. Uh, put in my mind that some of us may have even have that test on us. Mm -hmm. So we gonna have to lean on the Lord even in that fashion because we young men. A lot of us is young men, and we fall, uh -huh. we signed up for selective services ignorantly. You know what I mean? But the Lord gonna be with us at that time. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. You know, yeah. the Most High is gonna give you. The, he said, "Don't worry about what you're gonna say. Yep. What's worry about what you're, what you're gonna do." He said, "I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna put the words in your mouth." And he's also said, I want to put, uh, our, our teachers have not been removed to a corner anymore. And you'll hear a word behind you. What's that? It's the Holy Spirit. He's supping with you. And he with you, you with him. That that Samuel, uh, when he couldn't understand the spirit of the Lord and coming and bothering Eli. And the Lord said, they had to teach him the Holy Spirit. You know? The Lord has taught us the Holy Spirit. And as long as we stay within the Holy Spirit, he said he's, we're going to know when to turn to the left. And went to turn to the right. Yep. Hey, Elder, that's some that's of us was in Hold World on. War One. <clears throat> some of us was in World War Two. Yeah. That's uh, Revelations nine. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. and I was gonna say, and that's why right now, you know, we're 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 showing our faith, you know, in, in this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, so we can be guarded in that day. You know, mm -hmm. the scriptures talk about in Isaiah thirty three and six, for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength. Of thy salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Mm -hmm. All right, so if we're showing that we have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding now, and faith in it, and the application thereof, all right, and that's our hope. Well, then we'll be led, you know, by the Spirit in that day. Yeah, right. you know, and that's what it's all about, man. Because it's we're talking about some crazy, chaotic times that has never been seen before. Yeah. you know, ended ultimately by. ICBM missile fire, mm -hmm. all right, <laughs> that you want to escape. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I got a few real quick, if I may. Yes, sir. Uh, I got something back home. This is uh, the book of Acts, chapter um, Acts chapter 5 and 38. Mm -hmm. It says, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. Hmm. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But... If it be of the Most High God, ye cannot overthrow it, least happily ye be found even to fight against the Most High God. So 
here it is, we're talking about the counsel of the Most High God, right? Mm -hmm. And the counsel of the Most High God is the living word, mm -hmm. right? The living word that it leads somewhere because in this uh, scripture in Isaiah, I'm going to get it in the NLT, all right? Uh, Isaiah 46 and 9 in the NLT. It says, remember the things that I have done in the past, for I alone am the Most High God. I am the Most High God, and there is none like me. Mm. Only I can tell you the future before it even happens. Mm. Everything I plan will come to pass. Mm. You see? So everything the Most High planned, and he planned it from before the beginning of time, mm. is going to happen. That's his counsel, and he said, all my counsel shall stand. Mm. Now check this out. His word, and his word will prosper. That's it. Yep. So this is 2nd Edris chapter 4, verse 26. So it says, Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel. For the world hasteth fast to pass away. This is part of the counsel of the Most High God. All right? And he said that I'll tell you the, uh, 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 the future before it even come to pass. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, I see. So verse 27. It says, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in the time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. Mm. And this is the one that we're in right now that's yep. full of unrighteousness and infirmities that uh, hasten fast to pass away. Verse 28. But as concerning the thing whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Ooh. Galatians talk about uh, uh, being delivered from a present evil world, right? Mm -hmm. So in this world that hastens fast to pass away, the evil was sown. Who sown it? Yahabashim Yahweh So he's the only one that's going to come uprooted when evil, wickedness, reaches its height. Mm -hmm. Point is, is that wickedness, evil, they have a time allotted. And after they reach that time, I see be a missile fire, missile fire, missile fire. I see be a missile fire be raining down on you. I said, I see be a missile fire, missile fire, missile fire. I see be a missile fire be raining down on, raining down on, raining down on America. You see, that's the ultimate will of the Most High God because. This is what happens to those who are about another council right. outside the council of the Most High God. Right. And let's see who's going to be about that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to be about my council and who's going to be about some just other council that you just make up? Right. You, for me against the workers of the you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. And so this is part of the, the, the trial of our faith. That's you right. see? And we're trapped in something that want to do everything of this mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. You see? But let me finish. So it says, back in the second edge of chapter 4, verse uh, 28. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not come, not yet, yet. come. Mm -hmm. Not yet yes. come. This is right? the time of point. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. You see? And so here it is. We beg the Lord every single day to hasten that day that he comes to destroy this place. That's why the scriptures talk about, you know, uh, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because this is the place that was given over unto evil. This was the place that allowed... Uh, 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 mindsets contrary, well, carnal mindsets, mm -hmm. all right, to be exalted yeah. above the spiritual righteous mindset of the Father. Yeah. Yeah, if you yeah. friends with this world, then you an enemy. And it is the most like God. That's you're right. You're on the wrong side of the fence. That's right. And so we're telling you. That's why even uh, in that Second Peter, it said, "Yo, seeing all these things oh, gonna man. be on fire, what <laughs> manner of person <laughs> are you to be?" be? be? Yeah, and all holy conversation, conversation to God. That's it. That's and right. guess what? It's the, the prophets, the men of the Lord, yeah. that's guiding you in that way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I get this real quick. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Doc. You got it. Real quick, it's uh, Isaiah. Because we trusted in the, in the word of the Most High, we had faith in this scripture right here. 
and this was even before missiles were even created, man. This is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, and verse 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Mm -hmm. See, this is how they used to fight back in the day. They used to line themselves up with shields next to the next to the, the next man next to each other with sword in hand. Imagine yeah. Imagine uh, 300. Yeah, yeah. 300. Imagine Spartans. 300. Yeah. And, and with confused yeah. You know, those type of movies. So yeah, with confused gone. noise. <laughs> come charging at each other, yelling from war, yelling from pain, getting you know, a limb yeah. taken yeah. off. Yeah. 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 Blood covered yeah. everywhere. Even trench warfare. Yeah, World War One. I was thinking, I was thinking exactly. of trench warfare. It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Now, now, if you look up on, straight up on Google, the earliest form of ballistic missiles dates to the the 13th century, mm -hmm. which is the the 1200s. All right, which you know that that's way after the scriptures, man. You know, so to have this written in the Bible, right, lets you know that you know at the time when when people were reading this, you had to have faith and believe that the Most High was coming with that fire, man. Yeah, like it was yeah. written. In, in his Isaiah 55, man. It's the same thing that we believe in and we see in, in our time, man. This is how we know. Like, so everybody else was scoffing, saying, oh, USSR was done away with. But we knew through, through uh, um, hey, just seeing it and, and, and even the Lord laying, laying it down for us, man, that they were going to come back, man. You know, they still had that hatred towards uh, uh, that great horde that sitteth upon many nations, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It's coming back, and and uh, and now the people are getting, are seeing it, man. And a lot of these uh, leaders there reincarnated too, man. You know, I, this is my personal belief. I believe that nigga Erdogan is Hitler, and it's funny, man, that this nigga, this nigga, he came back with the same fervency because you know you think about these these uh, they all had ideology. The Lord controls these niggas like pawns. You know, you look at um, what was the nigga. Um, if you had Hitler, then you had a nigga under him, they called him El Duce or something like that. You talking about uh um, God damn. Um he was uh um, they assassinated him? Yeah, they assassinated they him. Hung him. They hooked him and put his rod in his own mouth. Yeah, that that fucking guy, man. I believe that's Donald Trump, man. <laughs> you know, I believe that's him coming back. A lot of these guys are coming back, but they're showing you that Esau, you're really just a tool for war, man. You're just the hammer of the earth. You're a sword. You're the, uh, what it says, the Syrian, the rod of thy anger. And you're just for a certain time. Yeah. Because the Prince of Peace is coming. And he's called the Prince, Prince of Peace for a reason. Because he's actually going to bring peace to the earth, man, by putting wickedness out of it, man. You know? So that means you're, there's no need for you. There's no need for war. Scripture says they're going to beat their plowshares into, uh, into, pro, into pruning hooks, man. To swords. Yeah, it's gonna be a reconstruction, rebuilding of the earth, man. Yeah, yeah. So it's the it, it, Yep, because it's gonna be one mindset that prevails. You see, and that's why you know war happens because people think that they mindset and, and, and their way is the standard way. You know what I'm saying? But they're always gonna find out that Yahweh Shai is the standard, man. Yeah. Right. You know, all is all is gonna find out that. The mindset of the Most High God is going to prevail, man, yeah. all right, and be the, uh, the 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 order of the day for forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I got one. I got one. Uh, this is Isaiah fifty-four and sixteen. Oh, like, you know what? I tell you, I thought I was going to. No, no, no. You got it. No, you sure, bro? Yes, sir. I got you. Yes, I caught it. No, you good? Go ahead, bro. It's uh, Isaiah fifty-four and sixteen. It says, "Behold." I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. It says, and bring it forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster so, to destroy. So why did that movie just come out? Uh, uh, right? And, and the, the three hour movie that's still been meaning to watch. <laughs> I know, right? And a lot of us watched it. I mean the same. But a lot of us <laughs> watched it and and, and they uh, and uh, and, and you know, got, got a lot of good reviews. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I was kidding. Yeah. Muslim, Muslim, uh, Muslim uh, reports yeah. on Muslim yeah. But it's also yeah. pushing yeah. that Arabic and Bambaycha. He's so Edom chosen on that yeah. fan yeah. side. Yeah. What, is, yeah. what his intentions yeah. are. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah. that's yeah. he's so shown it on the left hand side through his movie, through his film, through his media, all right, through his songs, all right. The scriptures say, Malachi, the Lord I have been telling you, the days come. And it's gonna burn like an oven, yeah. you know. Yeah, I guarantee you can go to an industrial oven. You don't want it to be a day that's five hundred degrees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> That's yeah. why the scripture said that he created the smith. Pete, by the way, you read that one more time? Yep, question. I got you. It says, uh, Isaiah 54 and 16, it says, Behold, I have created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire. Yeah, so the Lord created the smith. So, essentially, Yahweh should have shot with the spirit on him to create this weapon. Right, yeah. Even in the Oppenheimer <clears throat> movie or even the story of how the atomic bomb was made, Esau didn't have the right calculations for that shit. They was they basically stumbled upon even when the explosion, the explosion, how they predicted the explosion, it was far more advanced than what the fuck they even thought it was. Yeah, they be. thought it was gonna destroy the whole world. So the Lord was gearing them to do this. They didn't know on how how big this was gonna be. Mm -hmm. When it came to the top, they didn't know how it was gonna be. Even in the movie, mm -hmm. even when you you know research about Oppenheimer. They didn't have the right proper calculations for it. Mm -hmm. The Lord geared them to do this. Yeah, that's quickly. why the scripture said, "I created the spirit." Man, the Lord man. did this. That's right. You're right. You're that right. was the right. purpose right. of Yahweh right. Shemel Yeah. Even in, in the fact that well, Revelation 17 it said that it was the Lord's purpose mm -hmm. to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? so going back to this brother's precept, which if the spirit grabbed it, may grab this one. War been fought hand in hand combat. Mm -hmm. Brazilian BB James that really real talk. Yeah. But now the Heavenly Father is saying, Look, Isaiah seen it. Yeah. This war that's coming, it's not gonna be the same. It's yeah. different. See, this is different that the world have never even seen before. Yeah. Okay. And he created this Smith that that the brothers is talking about these scientists. And it was crazy the way that these scientists came together was based after the, the fight of World War II. Yeah. It was Operation Paperclip. Operation Paperclip. Where they split up the German scientists because Germany fell at this time and they split Germany in half. Mm -hmm. Where majority, uh, half went to Russia and half went to the United States. Yep, yep, yep. But these scientists that were split up, the Heavenly Father was working with these people to make missiles. That's right, the whole time, the same Smith. <laughs> to destroy. To destroy. That's right. And they've been destroying ever since with these missiles. And yeah. that shows you the power and the scope of them in the testing of Hiroshima. In Nagasaki, all right, and how it just obliterated and killed so many people. The land, millions, you, you fucking callous bitches, mm -hmm. all right. That's why the most high is going to be callous with you, all right. Yeah. You, they showed you how you did it with uh, uh, your agent orange and your agent yellow and your agent yeah. pink and your agent purple. Mm -hmm. There was a bunch of whole agents and they did a whole bunch of different things. It wasn't just agent orange, you know what I'm saying? And killing the people, dropping that shit, Man. all right. Uh, to to uh, all, all, I mean, you, you, the, the, your list is long. Bro, that <laughs> Asian Horn shit is that that's the like hammer, hell on earth. The hammer of the what, what, what is it? The hammer of the uh, the, the hammer, hammer, the hammer, the hammer of the earth. Yeah, yeah. yeah how that's is some that? nightmare shit. shit. I, I drew my fifty. You know. Hey, um, it's like what are you saying? No, nah, I was just saying that's some the the that Asian Horn shit when they dropped it on the. There's still babies being born oh, fucked the, the, up. Deformed like, to this day. Heads like fucking big as hell, no butthole, like no heart and shit, heart enlarged and shit. Deformed like, because they bodies. mutated the, the, uh, the DNA of the body with these fucking chemicals. The like, same chemicals they put the hammer, in our though. foods and our, and our vegetables and the shit down, man. Yeah. All right? Experiment with people, man. Mm -hmm. I got a, I got a precept real quick. Go ahead, uh, go ahead brother. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 50 and 23. Yeah, that's it. This is how is the, the hammer of the whole earth cut? The Lord's going to cut you down, man. And he's going to cut you with millions and millions and millions of missiles, man. And it's not an exaggeration. Each warhead has hundreds of thousands of missiles in it, man. And, they, and they're going to, when the epicenter radiates, it's going, it's going to inundate the whole land of America. Put it in your mind. The map of the United States of fucking America, man. And imagine burning uh, little holes and the spread now is going to eventually be hit so much, it's going to be nothing but a molten lake of fire. That's what John said. You can see it. You can see that. And, and uh, the Lord said he's going to make a, a speedy riddance <laughs> of this place. Uh, this, those wars, World War One and World War Two, and Vietnam, those wars lasted for years. Mm -hmm. But this war, this war is, 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 is going to be boom. It's just, it's just, it's, just, it's gonna be over as soon as it, as quick as it started. Yeah. As as soon as as soon as th that 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 first missile hit, 
Then it's just gonna be boom, 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 boom. It's just gonna be fireworks. It's done. It's done. It, it ain't gonna be no, no, no. Oh, we go, we gotta send more troops and oh, we call in the air support and all that shit. Oh, yeah, it's it's, 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 the Lord said this place will not be prolonged yeah. anymore. That's mm -hmm. right. So, so when, so when the Lord, when, when the day comes for, for the war that's gonna destroy this, this place, it's gonna be that, uh, that day. Mm -hmm. It says they shall call to the nobles, but none shall be there. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> America's not home right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you like to leave a mess up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them at least stated that. One of them at least stated that there, if there was a World War Four, it would be fought with sticks and stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I bought, I bought, I bought. Uh, Just because yeah. he meaning that. The, the nuclear missiles is going to decimate every fucking thing. You have to restart. But the thing is this, like brothers, it's all we're concluding all the way back to the conclusion of it all. Yeah, I was shy as winning World War Three. Right. That's who's going to win World War Three. See, none of these nations waiting for, looking for that. Since, since you said that, go ahead, no. go ahead, brother. This is a uh, second Ezra. 13, Start at the top. Thirteen and one. And it came to pass after seven days. I dreamed the dream by night, and lo. There arose a wind from the sea, and it moved all the waves thereof. See, there's going to be a chariot so huge, it's going to displace all the air and vicinity around it. Show you in uh, the movie, it's like uh, Independence Day, where it came in the clouds, where it furled in and moving and so forth, was moving through the clouds. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the wind... All the nations are going to see, too. Right. When you throw a football, a baseball, a softball, through the wind, that's forcing the displacement of wind through the subject of a matter. And if you go do a pass, on, you, you feel the, the, the wind. Yeah. Yeah. But when you're talking about the fathership, <laughs> all right, you know, coming in and, and, and re revealing him, shall. <laughs> all right? It's going to look like uh, 10, 10 20,000 times bigger than the moon. And it's like, uh, the closest I can envision that brothers have seen movies like, it's like the Death Star, how big that was, but that oh, would yeah. be that would be like one of the little sidecars. That's still too small. But right. they had a big planetary yeah. ship, all right. But the Mosai ship is he is planetary, you know. It's, 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 look, I'll read the script. Uh, verse three. And I beheld. Okay, we read the one before. Yeah, verse two. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea, and it moved all the waves thereof. So something had to be so big to move the waves of the sea to get the waves to all be out. He didn't say some, he didn't say Lake Michigan only. Right. Yeah. He said all the waves of the sea. Yeah, that's right. All right, uh -huh. so it's gonna to have to shake the whole firmament to the globe. Right. Go ahead. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. So wait, and then he didn't come by himself. <laughs> there was a whole bunch of them, like the scripture says the book of Matthew was like lightning in the sky. Uh, 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 flash it, it'll be all from the east to the west. Yeah. All right, go ahead. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. And, and, and every knee will bow. I promise you, everything will come fast, man. Because the most high, is, it's going to be, you, you talk about a psychotic, it's going to be motherfuckers. Millions of people die just of heart attacks right there. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's heart failure. You know? Go ahead. Hey, no, no, um, the brother Gabari Howarder in Hawaii said when, when, the, when, the, when the nuclear, uh, um, uh, 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 um, the the earth, earth. yeah, those, those, those alarms, when yeah, those yeah. alarms went off out, he said people was dying of oh, heart yeah. attacks then. Woo! People was having heart attacks, man. They had, they had, a, 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 the accidental, the, the nuclear, yeah, right, right. Uh, yeah, when people started flooding the yeah, alarms went off, mm. and then they said people was, people was having heart attacks, yeah, yeah. out of fear. Mm -hmm. Hiding in the sewer, I just hiding in the sewer. Uh, they were going in the sewer and shit. Right, right yeah. these Ninja Turtles. And it's certainly fearful looking, man, because they, 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 there's an innate spirit that's in every single one that knows that there's a creator and we're supposed to live a certain particular way. Yeah, bro. All right? The whole side said he's not slack concerning his promises. The Lord's not going to set up this and destroy somebody for nothing. Did he, did, uh, what one nation hasn't had a part of his spoils, man? Yeah. He said, you touched the apple of my eye. Mm -hmm. All right? 
So the most high God have been deader with you heathens, man. Mm -hmm. right. And you all refuse to let us go. All right? Go ahead, brother. God, verse 4. And when whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. The mouth of the ship. You big dummy. You know, it's not one of them Hollywood movies where he's like... Oh. <laughs> 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 you looking like Reptar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I see a couple of that, that shit, you know? Right, right. And, and, that, and that's what made me mad. I said, Dad, you cheated. <laughs> you know? Uh, but he said, it's going to read that again, brother. God, verse 4. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth. So it, the, the, uh, it was the opening of the ship, just like in yeah. Independence Day, when the mouth of the ship opened, yeah. the beams kept, came down, mm -hmm. and it, it, it started set a, a powerful concentrated laser or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and it. And it uh, Heavy it, beam. Kind. Mm -hmm. And it. Uh, um, from and created an epicenter and he uh, irradiated out from it, you know. I forgot all the scientific terms. It's fucking matter because yeah. it's going to be all everywhere. It's going to inundate everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Can I please help you right there on mm -hmm. that? It's, it's on the same line. Revelations 19 and 14. It says, "And the armies mm -hmm. which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean." Now you, th that's going to be. You just see them ripping around and doing what they can do, whatever the fuck they want to do it, how they want to do it. The ones that they have where they're doing like this, it would just like shaking and just insane. I'm like, what, what? I just move into, oh, you want me to? Okay. It, it, the terror, right? Oh, every time we see them, how many videos we see on YouTube or Instagram? Oh my God. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. What the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna loot. It's going. The most high is about the one part of the war is terrorizing, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why when you do an ambush, which even the Lord is doing with us as the ambushes, right? Yep. It, it catches you by surprise, which means mm -hmm. an unexpected attack. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. It says, and out of his mouth go up a sharp sword, that with that with it he shall smite the nations. And he should rule them with a rod of iron, and he should tread them. He should tread. It, I'm sorry. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of the Almighty God. Did somebody get a bring them uh, uh, to the valley of Jehoshaphat? Mm -hmm. All right, because this is that 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 puts me in mind with that now. Because he's going to smite the nations. He's going to gather them together, and he's already doing it now. Why is everybody picking sides right either with Hamas? Or pick sides with uh, uh, Bricks. Uh, um, um, the BRICS nations, which started uh, headed by Russia. Mm -hmm. I was driving down the street, going going to do a, a, a pizza delivery, mm -hmm. and I saw a, a Palestinian-looking woman wearing, uh, waving a, walking down the street by herself, waving a flag. All right, you know, it's like uh, then you got Iran said, "Well, you keep fucking with them, we're gonna defend them," and then America said, "Well, if you come in, we're gonna fuck with you," and then the Russia said, "You fuck with Iran, you're fucking with us." So that's why we believe this is the book. Yeah, he said, uh, the Lord mustereth the host of the battle. That's right. Mm -hmm. He's starting something. Gotta be starting something. Yeah. Gotta be starting yeah. something. And he put hooks in their jaws, too. That's why they can't never come to no agreement. Like, all the time they were trying to, like, be friends and shit. Hey, because I remember, man, I'm an old nigga, man. I remember when uh, Russia got a McDonald's, man. <laughs> you had motherfucking, bro, we had a line. Bro, we had a fucking million niggas in the goddamn line, man, to get McDonald's, man. Everybody, that's when America was hot, you know? A white boy would bust out of the water, buy the candy bar, bitches to get hot and shit. But now all that fucking shit is going away, man. The scripture says, uh, as a dream will one awaken, uh, surely, oh, yeah, how would thou so despise the image, man? You know, he making you bare, man. Everybody seeing you, uh, uh, the earth is not disclosed in the blood no more, man. You know, you got this nigga Ben Shapiro and shit. Yeah, man, you know, in proportion to killing, man. You know, you got to kill them all. We're pretty much, and then you had the fucking Arab, which I think he was a Jake, and uh, they had an interview, you know. And he was basically saying, like, look, bro, you can't fucking uh, blame that fucking bombing on us, <laughs> you know. You the one told motherfuckers to evacuate, you know what I'm saying? Ain't that what you do before you bomb? Mm -hmm. Yeah, get out or we gonna bomb you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the whole earth is seeing this shit, man. You know? That separation is happening because uh, even after the whole 
um, Palestine and Israel bombing happened, yeah. there was articles that came out where they said um, uh, they said that uh, the whole the hopes of Saudi Arabia and having uh, them have peaceful talks with Israel was was down the toilet pretty right. much after that went down. So everybody's forced to put uh, uh, pick sides now, man. That's right, and, and you, know? you can see a great division, which was already there if you've been watching. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now it's becoming verbal. Yeah. All right, it's becoming um, uh, evidence, sound bites, getting receipts on it, mm -hmm. which is evidence of the prophecies that Yahweh Hashem is being fulfilled. Yeah. All right, now we do know, and we will, you know, uh, we we tell the whole truth. Mm -hmm. Matthew twenty four says, you know. There's going to be wars and rumors of wars, you know, and, and it's not yet. But guess what? There's going to be the time where it is going to be World War III. Oh, sir. All right? Yeah. And, and something that's going to have to lead to it. And right now, it's getting good. This situation right now is not resolving. And, not, and no one's trying to sit down at the peace t t um, tables. And if it was going to go into the atrocities that are going on there, on both sides, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, but specifically on the uh, Israeli side, of how they're, uh, with some of the things they're doing, they poured semen down the motherfucking water supply. Yeah, they, they You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, but no, but that's Esau, because what did he do? He cut off our food supply and Masada. You want to yeah, go find out who somebody they, is? Yep. Go look at their fucking track record. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Hey, right. a tree will be known by its motherfucking fruit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. I, I asked my brother how, because he in the uh, U.S. Navy right now, I asked him how, you know, what is they doing about it? He said they're about to send out a couple of ships within the next couple of weeks. He yes, said they're talking about sending out many ships. So he he's saying that he can't even come home to visit like he was planning on doing the last couple of months mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they're mm -hmm. not going to get sent out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You better tell him to go to the next episode and get psychotic. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I'm getting green. I'm about to shoot everybody. <laughs> oh, I'm about to shoot them. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Yeah. And, and go to the gun range and just start shooting in the other direction with a cantry. <laughs> and I'm just jumping and diving and shit. Yeah, they go going crazy and shit. shit. I'm seeing, I don't I'm know where I spirits. was shooting. I'm hearing and, voices. And real mm. talk, the scripture says everyone that is joined to them shall be passed through. Right. right? And, and uh, Isaiah says their, their men shall die in the war. Right. So these scriptures have to manifest, they have to come to fruition. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so it says oh, hope deferred maketh the heart sick. Yep. Ain't that what we've been talking about this whole time? Yeah. Shit, ain't that our expectation? Yeah, right. but the Lord is coming through. Yeah. The Lord is coming through. This is Joel chapter 3, verse 12. It says, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Woo. And that's the culmination. Everybody's coming together. That's right. And, he, and, he, and he's going to get all the heathen round about. And he said to plead with them. Yep. See, now what's the word uh, plead mean? Mm. Is it, ain't too proud to bear the sweet darling? Does that mean black? No, it don't mean that. Mm -hmm. Somebody looked that up in the Hebrew. Um, plead. I got a precept. Uh, kind, kind. And somebody looked that word plead up in the Hebrew to show you why he's bringing all these motherfuckers. All right, and, and then you can get that precept after that. Who got it? Uh, uh, word plead in uh, the Edelman online. It says, make a plea in court. Nah, -uh, I said in the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, my uh, internet on slide. Okay, so somebody got it? Yeah. Okay. Can, can I get a quick one on the yeah, I got reason you. why, when you make a plea in court, like, oh, man, I, I'm, I'm not guilty. Oh, I'm guilty. No, uh, uh, no, that's not what this is. And that, that word right there, but that's another reason why English is a piece of shit sometimes. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's, a, it's an amalgamation of, of Hebrew and, uh, um, and Latin, mm -hmm. all right? And uh, it's just, uh, and, then, uh, and then new made up words, because mm -hmm. English was made the fuck up. Mm -hmm. And it's still new shit, so now they got new speak on top of, it's convoluted. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. This is, um, John 3 and 10. It says plead at court. It says, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no,
You know, people like, uh, um, um, nations, I love it, you all, you know. Mm -hmm. Hi, Iran, how you doing? Mm -hmm. um, uh, would y'all please let my people go? Would you all please stop being bad to the Israelites? You all got them all in your nation. Mm -hmm. And you all have them at the bottom of the total pool and everything. Yep. You give them false bullshit. You just come to I'm, I'm begging you. I, I'm, not, I'm God and I'm not too proud to beg you. Right. Yeah, bro. Joel 3 and 12. Mm -hmm. It says, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. But there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So he, he put, now read that definition of that word, plead again. God, plead, right? So like in Strong's 8199, oh, so I just had it one plead. Shapat, it means to judge, govern, vindicate, punish, to act as a lawgiver. He's coming judge. to vindicate us. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. All right? And to execute judgment. He's coming to execute judgment for them bullshitting and killing and stealing and destroying the earth mm -hmm. that he made. And then crucify him afresh and anew over here. Claiming that he's God. Changing the name. Mm -hmm. The atrocities of slavery. The list is, is humongous. That's right. not for blasphemy. That's, That's what right. it says in Revelation the 13th chapter. Because like Apostle Gabor would explain... Uh, <laughs> Esau was the only person that committed blasphemy mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. And you, we, we will see it. This nigga then created a full-blown doctrine based around serving Esau, Edom, but the scriptures, uh, he using the, the scriptures to back everything up. Christianity, the goddamn, uh, that goddamn Caesar Borgia image that we all fucking grew up on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right, so now y'all about Shemel Shai coming in to fucking, uh, 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 to fucking make his ass be, be punched for it. That's right. Because claim this is. Yeah, to claim it. Because this nigga been getting away for a long ass time since mm -hmm. the Renaissance era. Mm -hmm. That's right. Revelation, the 20th chapter said that this motherfucker was going to come out the cage for a little season. That's right. It says little, right? Little, we think little, small. Right. But in our time, is it? Man, mm -hmm. this nigga, the little for him was Renaissance to fucking now. Right. Yeah. That's hundreds of years. Now, now they'll tell you. That the average reign of a nation or an empire is to about approximately 250 years. Mm -hmm. And guess what? America's been over here for approximately 250 fucking years. Yeah. All right? Uh, and Esau, in general, since you said, mentioned the Renaissance period, mm -hmm. he has been in rule for over that time period. And for probably 250 years before that, going back to the uh, mid 1500s when the transition of power. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm like, go ahead, brother, my fault. I made it today. Um, uh, uh, and then, uh, I made you lose your chair. My fault, brother. That's okay, brother. But it, but it was a transition of power. But at the same time, it was around 500 years ago, and collectively, you know what I'm saying? It was them uh, oppressing our people through, you know, uh, Columbus coming over here to colonization and so forth, the continent of the world. So the most high got, there's a lot of, he's so rap sheet. He's a blood, like King David said, he's a bloody man, man. All right? Mm -hmm. um, we'll go back into that. Hey, oh, you got one real quick? Sorry. Just to give a little um, understanding, too, on that word plead. And you have one, too, right? This, uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, and verse 15. It says, for behold, the Lord will come with fire, and, his, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. Mm -hmm. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Mm -hmm. So that plead, it's not going to be uh, an inquiry asking questions. No, he's coming, he's pleading with fire and by his sword. Mm -hmm. That's how he's pleading. With all flesh and the slain of Yahweh shall be many. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be any questions, man. It's not going to be any time for... You know, because that's what Jake wants. That's what, they want the Most High to come and sit on their couch and explain stuff for, for them, man. Uh -huh. When they have the prophets out here bringing out his word, mm -hmm. all right? So it's whether you take heed now or, or, or you feel the fire then. That's right. Yeah, that's right. yeah but, hey, but they, take out, they take the prophets and they push them to, to the corner and say, look, you know, that's what the Lord said. You know, his prophets, they, they're not going to be pushed to the corner anymore. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey because, because now it's going to come a time where... What, 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 what the scriptures say, uh, uh, thy people should be willing in the day of thy power. That's it. That's the time we're going to come into soon, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when the Lord raised up the saints, 
with 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 with, with, with power to to heal and to and to uh, make one small meal and, t and and take it and feed a multitude of people. Uh -huh. You know, then the people gonna want to listen. Uh -huh. You know, right? I got a quick one, real quick. Oh, since you said that, it says uh, this is Proverbs chapter uh, five. I'll start at nine. It says, um, okay, seven. It says, hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way far, remove thy way far from her, and come not nigh the door of her house. Least thou give thine honor unto others in thy ears unto the crew, lest strangers be filled with thy wealth and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. And thou mourn at the last when thy flesh and thy body are consumed mm -hmm. and say, how have I hated instruction Ooh. and my heart despised reproof and I have not obeyed the voice of my teachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nor incline my ear to them that instruct me. That's somebody that's in good for us. Scripture that's say it's gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. Mm -hmm. You know when you know when you hit when you stub your toe, you go, oh, that's gnashing of teeth. Mm -hmm. When that pain overtake you, you go, oh. <laughs> hey, they said they said in Hiroshima when they went in after Hiroshima and Nagasaki in those suits, they said they was they said the the people it was people with their face melted over. And and they were still alive, and they said oh, they can hear they can hear just a sound of mm, coming c coming out of the flesh, yeah. coming out of their flesh. They can hear sound, and then they said when they try to pull them up, the flesh came off of their arm, oh, and they screamed from within, wow. from the pain. Man. Right. The scripture said they want to seek death and cannot die. Shh. You don't. You want to play with the Most High. You do not. Uh, you don't want to play with the most. They say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living power, man. Mm -hmm. that's, that's some scary. That's wow. some scary. That's shit. Some More in the terror right. of the Lord. Yeah. We, we swear to hey, God. And, and what happened back then with the uh, elder bro Demashapak was talking about, well, that ain't nothing compared to man, what, what the Lord yeah. is coming with, man. Mm -hmm. You see? And this is why we, you know, instruct our people to, hey, get right. But we understand that only the elect will. You know, and we hoping ourselves to, you know, endure to the end and be found part of that number of the elect that's slated for salvation, man. Because hey, we don't, we don't. When it comes to this uh, uh, ICB and missile fire and the fire of the Lord, we don't want no smoke. Oh, you got one. Second uh, Chronicles uh, thirty-six. I started fifteen. It reads, and the Lord power of their fathers sent to them. By his messengers rising up beat times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. Right? The Lord is merciful, man. The Lord said, Come back to me. Tell this woman, Come back to me, and I will return to you. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, verse 16 says, But they mocked the messengers of the Most High God and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. You know, the Lord says, come out of her in that revelation, man. Come up out of her, man. Do not be partakers in her wrath, man. This thing is coming, man, and it's coming, it's, it's humming, coming at you. Them, them, honey, say the missiles humming, man, they coming. What's the title of this video right here? Yeah, the missiles, the missiles, I see being missiles coming. <laughs> the song raining, down. Down. <laughs> raining down, they humming. They gonna be coming, coming at you, man. And there's nothing that you can do but be covered by this word right here, man. Yes. This is it. Sir, sir. You either gonna be on that side or you gonna be on this side. That's right. That's right, well, bro. the scripture just That's said right. he said that um, he sent the B times, and B times meaning um, early. So what's happening is the Lord is setting up the this Lord set up the prophets before the destruction. Mm -hmm. You know, to give you that opportunity to yeah. for, for Jake to repent yeah. or not. It was second Ezra's the ninth chapter speaks about that. Mm -hmm. uh, when, while they uh, yeah, had liberty Ooh. You know So this is the liberty before the destruction happened That's what it means he set up before times yeah. He set the prophets up Before the destruction kicked off While repentance So but there's yeah. no excuse for not You know not coming into this Or doing what you're supposed to you know have done I, You I, know I got one if I may Go ahead. This is uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 34 And verse 1 
It says, Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury is upon all their armies. And what does the scripture say? Is my, de my determination is to gather, gather the, all na the nations. Is to gather the nations, man. Yeah. All right. It's so, so he's gathering them to lay out his fury over them. It says, he had utterly is, destroyed is them. Is cotton candy, you said? Excuse me? It's cotton candy uh, over them. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Why are people think this is going to be? Oh, guys, stop. You all have been bad. That's what Esau pushes, man. The Lord said they were going to know about death by pain, man. That's it. Yeah, man. Like a little bit earlier, you said all these nations have, have benefited off of what Esau did to us. Yeah. And that's true from the Triangle Trade yeah. to the, the Indian Dutch Company yeah. to, the, to all these oil companies around the uh, world, Black Rock, and all these goddamn big ass oil companies, and they're gathering yeah. together. And it's all built off the back of who? The, the, the people of the Heavenly Father, the Israelites. The, uh, what did it say? Uh, angels, riches got by deceit. Yeah. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. That's right. Mm -hmm. it, it says, uh, He had utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. Ooh, that sounds like some ooh. That sounds like the Lord gonna get busy. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it. He said the new employment is gonna be continual employment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be great today. We mm -hmm. taking bodies, Come. bodies. Hey, ch check this part out. It says, "And the mountains shall be melted with their blood." Mm -hmm. Hey, what does it say in uh, Second Peter's man, the third chapter, when it says, "Uh, uh you gonna be burnt down, melted to your yeah. elements, man." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what it's talking about right here. You read verse 4, it says... Yep, that's right. The blood should be poured out as dust. Yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah. Hey, shit, um... Uh, uh, blood is supposed to be a liquid, right? How it turned into a dust. Yeah. When it's, <laughs> when it's, con it's cut... It's Dehydrated. Exactly. Dehydration. Completely, yeah, yeah, utter right. utterly through the element burnt through and through. Yeah, one of the worlds. Verse 4. <laughs> Verse 4 it says, And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. And, and when does that ever happen? That happens when a when an ICBM missile hits, a thermonuclear missile. Now they got the supersonic sonic ballistic missiles. Mm -hmm. Alright, when they hit, you got what's called a mushroom cloud. And it rolls up with uh, 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 and that, that smoke rolls uh, uh within itself, man. Yeah. The, Simulating uh, the heavens rolling. All right? right. It says, And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down, as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. And, and the Apostle Ramla brought it out before, you know, exactly. when, when that falling fig tree, you can see on the stem, it, it has that curvature to it, exactly how a missile hits, man. Mm. You know, yep. that's right. And because the prophets saw, you know, did these visions of the missiles going off and the bombs going forth, but they didn't have any words in the Hebrew language to say ICBM right. missile mm -hmm. or America or you know, mm -hmm. you know, the things that are going on right now. Uh, so, so, but so yeah, they used actors like bowls and arrows, mm -hmm. like a glittering sword, mm -hmm. right? Uh, um, as um. Uh, the days, like I said earlier, uh, days of an oven, all right? So, man, he was a like, god damn, and, there, and you have to look at the, the imagery, like Apostle Bar say all the time, you have to picture it, you have to see it. It comes uh, out of the body. That's right. It comes, that's a good one too, right? It comes out, out of the body, you know? So that's, that's that, <laughs> that, uh, uh, the, um, the missiles coming out of the, the missile silos. silos. Yeah. All so right. what you're saying is the garden of Eden before it? Yeah, after the yeah. Yeah. desolation, of the yeah. wilderness, yeah. Yeah. empty land. Hey, if I may say, yeah. hey, what they say, um, you know, to the to the prophets then, you know, Isaiah say, well, they say to the prophets, see not, mm -hmm. you know. So as the brothers was warning, warning them of these things, man, instead of them getting themselves together, you know, what they do, they get further in wickedness, the same as our people doing now. You know, instead of them uh, preparing themselves for the missiles that's to come, they, they want to further their wickedness and try to get views on YouTube and, and based off of the truth. But really, hey, these missiles is coming after all wickedness, man. So if you're not prepared for these things, man, hey, that wrath is going to hit you, man. Yeah. 
that movie Don't Look Up. Mm-hmm. They just made that movie Don't Look Up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with Leonardo DiCaprio? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, the missile was like inevitable. And they kept with partying. And what it says is the day is of uh, Noah. I, I, I just grabbed yeah. it. That's the spirit of me. Yep. So this is. Um, and we'll get to grabbing these nice scriptures. Matthew. We'll this, we'll scripture. <clears throat> this is Matthew we'll this 20. I'm going to start from 24 and 36. But of the day and the hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah, or Noah, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the son, I'm sorry, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. Right. So in the time of Noah, he prophesied that the rain was going to come what, for a hundred years and everybody didn't believe it. So it's the same thing as like it to now when we're speaking about the missiles. Remember, no one believed that missiles were going to hit America. And they still don't believe, it, you know. So getting scared now. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Joe Rogan. <laughs> I don't know if y'all seen him. He told me he can't sleep at night. Yeah. I can't sleep <laughs> at night. <laughs> <laughs> he was thinking about how he, he get to the point where he thinking about how the world is just finna end. Right. You know, they don't understand when they say the world gonna end. But, yeah. Right. You know. Well, they were is going to end. As as they know this it. age is going to end. Yeah, mm-hmm. as they know it is, right? Yeah. So yeah. it says, for... But as in the days of Noe, where so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And another thing in, the, in those days that it was a, um, the dew. You know, the only thing that was, was wet was the, the, you know, the dew of the earth. So when you spoke about rain, it never, it never rained before. You know, the, the, the trees and, you know, the stuff was planted because of the dew. Yep. You know? Mm-hmm. So it says... Um, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Mm-hmm. So it was folly and everybody was folly and everybody was... Some other stuff. Uh, were, that's, about, that's, about, that, yep. that's that Matthew when, uh, when he says uh, that's, that revelation and the... Uh, they're gonna be about they, two women at the, the, the grinding at the mill. Yeah. It's gonna be uh, you know there was these asking people. It's still gonna be a semblance of life. Yeah. All right. So it's not gonna be you know um, you know just totally obliterated. At first, no. There's still gonna be people doing shit, getting married, uh, giving over to marriage, giving to marriage. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's why people believe they're they're fully persuaded. So just since judgment isn't executed speedily yeah. amongst the wicked, their hearts are fully setting them to do wicked. So through all the destruction that's going to be going on, there's going to be niggas still out here. Not even. Well, well, it's a scripture. I know you always bring it up. But they, they won't consider the scourges. Yeah, mm-hmm. second, there's a 16. Yeah, so it's going to be plagues and all type of shit going on. And it's going to be still niggas still partying and yeah. thinking yeah. everything is all good. Family. Yeah. Doing smash it's be a fa- yeah, Jake's still going to be on, on folly. Yeah. Yeah, they show you in that movie Bad Batch, man. They were still partying and they were chopping up niggas. They were chopping up body parts. No, not that all the whole America is going to be like that, but you know, Jacob Trump is going to be a hell of a time in certain places. Yeah. And you're going to have that. You're going to have people's besieged, cut off from anything. They, they like they doing Gaza, goddamn it! Nothing coming in, nothing coming out. You know what I'm saying? The scripture says the day shall come where enemies shall cast a trench about you. That's a siege. So you're gonna be, it's gonna be certain seven day, I mean, um, seventy A.D. scenarios, uh-huh. right? And the funny thing about that is you still gonna see commercials with Big Macs and you know, nigga eat. You know what I'm saying? You still gonna walk past that deal They still gonna be buying it. Right. Because yeah. they're buying it. 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 I forgot what that band was where a motherfucker caught on fire on the stage. And, and they thought it was part of that. <laughs> the, motherfucker, the motherfucker was really on fire and when Crackers was still dancing, like, wow, this is a great <laughs> show. <laughs> they they were still dancing. That was, that was in Connecticut right after right after E2. Yeah, yeah. And you know, white 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 boys was was, was turned up on that E2 shit. Yeah. Soon after that the Lord 
burn that place up with the pyrotronics again. Same thing over here in E2 e, no, well, e, e was a different situation. Yeah. But yeah, they would turn up. That was a Connecticut. Right after that, like a week after that. That's how the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that nigga was hey, burning but, his ass off. But it's good. But that's gonna be a show for us. Watching the uh, uh, watching the, that sea of glass, America burn, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Not only America, Babylon the Great, but Israel. The Lord said he's gonna have to shoot missiles over there. And the Lord said he's also coming with fire of his own. Mm -hmm. All right. Matter of fact, let's finish that up, brother. Let's no. finish that. And like I said, uh, we're gonna end up wrapping it up. Back in uh, Second Ezra thirteen and uh, four. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they heard that heard his voice. He's going, everything's going to get crispy. Hmm. All right? Just like the brother um, beautifully uh, shared with that dust, that blood turned to dust, dusty particles. Go ahead. Like as the earth uh, fameth when it feeleth the fire. And you see the fire uh, trees, uh, bird, uh, plants, Flowers, even dirt, <coughs> when it burns, you know, and it goes back to its basic comp, uh, mm -hmm. compost, of, of, and it cleanses it from all impurities. All right, the Lord said the first time he cleansed it by water, and this time he's going to cleanse it by fire. 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 All right, fire. and guess what? It doesn't take long after a forest fire for new vegetation to come. It comes right back. All right, it might take for some time for the tree to get back up to the height. And stature, but the Lord is going to re cleanse this earth. The earth will be a paradise again. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Five. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number. All those different damn nations, yep. but they're damn nations. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So they're going to try to fight the most high. That's why you silly ass niggas going to the military. You're dumb, and the most I gonna kill you. All right, your women, you want the equal lefts and equal rights. Well, now you got equal drafts. All right, and, they, and men, they're gonna continue to do what they already doing to you, raping you, and, and then killing your ass too. Kicking your ass in a UFC match. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. But Could I you read that part again, brother? Come, come. You read. Uh, and after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Right. And before they tried to subdue Yahawashah, they were fighting amongst one another. Yeah. That's the World War Three, right there. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You see? And so then here comes the Lord simultaneously, <laughs> all right, with the fire that he's coming with. Yeah. Right? And then the Spirit of the Lord going to be in the... Uh, the missiles to yeah. hit their mark. He said, "No, she'll break their ring." Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that means they're 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 going to climb up walls. Mm -hmm. They're going to go around objects. They, they, their target is over wherever it is, longitude, latitude. It's going to get that. That's yeah, it. and that uh, splitting of the atom. That's that's heavenly power. Mm -hmm. That's heavenly energy. That is the Lord's type energy. Mm -hmm. He he really gave him. That, but he gave it for him to destroy himself. Right. You see, every nation had a chance to rule. Every single nation had a chance to rule. All right? And they have all ruled in wickedness, selfishness, and oppressively to everybody down there around them, especially the Israelites. Well, the scripture says, because of unrighteous dealings, mm -hmm. injuries, and riches got by right. deceit, right. the kingdom is translated from one people to another. another. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're waiting for. That's why we're ushering in the, you know, the warning, you know, to repent and get your shit together. All right? But things are, things are getting moving so fast now. We don't know what's going on. It's, we're, we're, we're looking like, like the apostle said, brace yourself. I mean, we got to brace yourself, man, because we about to go on a ride now. You, yeah. thought, you thought this was already amazing? You ain't seen nothing yet. It's going to be on time like any other time. Another chapter. All right? Right. And this is the time to, you know, 
you know, uh, uh, toil and, 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 and you know, uh, work, yeah. you know, work. And, and, and you have to be in service for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Because if you're in service for another mindset, well, you're going to be stubble for the fire that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You see, we're talking about how to escape that fire. That's what the scripture says. Hey, don't worry about, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, I say we don't, we can't get this thing. Right, well, no. Uh, don't worry about uh, how, uh, how the ungodly is going to be punished and perish. Yeah, we right. 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 Gonna be saved. But, hey, be quiet how you're going to be saved, you know. You see? Mm -hmm. um, we'll so, it's more. a little bit more <laughs> and, then, and then we're going to hit those last scriptures Go ahead Back in that second Ezra 13 and 6 But I beheld and lo He had engraved himself a great mountain And flew upon it But I would have seen the region or place Where out the hill was graven And I could not So is that a world? <laughs> it was not from this world? No <laughs> If you can't see that vocab What the fuck? <laughs> Alright yep. You yep. the dumb Christians Yeah okay. And he said he's coming, uh, uh, like in that X, he's yeah. coming as like he left. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. In the clouds, yeah. things like that. Yeah. 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 You know? You so said, he must have left in a huge, he must have left in a big, yeah. a huge ship. It was, they were sitting up there gazing yeah. like, yeah. That's what yeah. 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 he said. Yeah. He's yeah. gone now, what you looking at? Yeah. 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 You mean it was a Galilee? Yeah. 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 Why stand ye up gazing? Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? He said, wanted to see that, they wanted to see it back, man. He's going to come back. Yeah. Yeah. He said, he's going to come Yep. In like manner, Ooh. as he left. Yeah. That's how he, he coming. Come. Yep. It. It's crucial, too, because remember in the same Ezra, he said, realm against realm. Realm against realm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So realms are going to yeah. right. <laughs> be facing each other. That's it. Where Yahusha is coming from is a whole different realm. Yeah, that's it. Like our world versus uh, fucking yeah, right. Earth realm. <laughs> they been having these spider verse and all these damn yeah. movies of verses. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the hey, first one right. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. The Doctor realm. Strange. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's what that uh, uh, scripture talking about. Hey, for our conversation Ooh. is in the heavens. Ooh. You know, I'm talking about our citizenship. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, because it, yeah. according to with this world, we got to have the mindset of. Uh, it was that in Hebrews where it says uh, strangers and pilgrims, you know, we're not a citizen of this present temporal evil world, we're a citizen of the heavens, man. We're just strangers and pilgrims here on this earth, here on a mission to be purified and perfected, man, and to just serve Yahweh Shemiah That's right. Go ahead, brother. Verse 8. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid and yet thirst fight. See, and, and that shows you the pride, man. See, true, true, uh, true uh, humility, you know, you, you, you dip. It's not my, my fuck. Uh, you want some of this, old man? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all get your ass go be the I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But th these motherfuckers, their loyalty to Uncle Sam, I gotta go, no! Hey, another part of it is, is that their, their, their hearts are hard. Yeah, and they think they can actually, yeah. well, maybe I can try this. The next one down. Well, maybe I can try this. The next one down. Well, maybe. They're fucking prideful, man. Yeah. yeah that's why I fuck. I can't, I can't wait. Well, read it again. Since when it to him. All they which were gathered together to subdue him. In that Valley of Jehovah, yeah. in that World War Three, and, and, and guess what? It might be uh, evidence and things that in multi nations because you know they're gonna be sending shit and it's, Lord the, America will not be a virgin anymore. Yeah. All right, the, the, the you will be. Her unwalled villages will be touched. Yep. Back walls, back walls. Mm -hmm. All right. And he's already all being walls. touched right now with all those um, sleeper cells coming in. Yeah. Was that? Uh, Feeling on your booty. It's just rubbing. She's just rubbing on this motherfucker right now. And it's, it's getting ready for the rain, you know? Whispering in the ear, like, you know, I'm gonna get this. You know? And that's what's happening, man. You know? Time of martial law is coming. That's that that's who's gonna be the ones that mow down all these Americans, man. Because mm -hmm. American soldiers, they gonna have a gripe and shit about that, you know. Mm -hmm. So they got these other motherfuckers coming in here, you know. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Good, brother. Uh, uh, Chapter no, second Nazareth 13 and uh, 8. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet thirst fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, 
nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath. Yeah, that's the that's gonna be the, the, the annihilation. <laughs> yeah, the annihilation. The Yahweh, the Yahweh shot in the holy angels is gonna destroy it. Now what is it in Revelation that says um Michael and his angels versus Satan and his yeah, angels. Let's talk about so. yeah, Revel this Yahweh Shai and, and the angels versus uh, uh these troops. Yeah. World War Three, these yeah. troops. That's Satan and his angels. That's talking about Esau. Exactly. I right? ain't talking about no fucking <laughs> in the goddamn in, in the heavens a, where right. Satan just right. pop There's up a war in heaven and Satan pop up. God, I'm not listening to you no more. Satan pop up in heaven with his fucking minions and, and yeah. shit. Yeah. Like the most Who's high coming high with high me? High. <laughs> <laughs> Who's coming with me? <laughs> Come on, rebellion. <laughs> Come on. This is, this is, this is, I'm talking about the. Is the, the army, bro? The, 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 the UN troops, yeah. all of the nations gathering together, and they're gonna yeah. fight against the yeah. Abu Shah. It showed it in Independence. Day. Independence. Day. That's what it they was. They was at war. When you when you look at the beginning of Independence Day, it showed all of the different nations yeah. seeing the chariot come, yeah. and then everybody started to band together yeah. to fight. Yeah. And yeah. when all, when all the movies, they always gear the. Foreigners that are coming from space yeah, to be yeah. adversaries, yeah. so they're gearing up to people's mindsets. To Every fight adversary against. in these movies is really good. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. In, in American high. movies, every adversary or bad guy is really good, fucking good. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's where you the know? words freaking is important to look up, come at, because Satan and his angels. Satan just simply means adversary. adversary. Yeah. So yeah. it just means the enemies of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, yep. and his uh, the enemies yeah, of sure. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai and their allies are going to fight him. Yeah. That's it. And it's going to be those uh, aircrafts that he tries to use against the chariots. Yeah. Uh, so too in the movie Saving Private Ryan, mm. at the end, just about uh, Tom, uh, what's his name, Tom yeah. Hanks, he yeah. said, "Oh, here, here come the angels," and it's the U.S. aircrafts yep. that save yep. that yep. save the day. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, the angels on our shoulders. Wow. Yeah. 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 Um, so if you got a spiritual eye, man, you can see like little gems from movies, and you prepare with the scriptures that that's what it is, man, through the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. Okay. Uh, verse ten. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. And that fire right there is not going to be uh, of the intensity of the nuclear missile. It's going to be worse. It's angelic fire from you. That's out of the. Uh, that's out of the, that's out of the lordship it's itself man and it's out of the chariot systems itself man that's that holy fire that's that um fire and brimstone <laughs> that came down on Sodom and Gomorrah is that fire and brimstone that still burns um purple you know the hottest purple yep. all right to this day all right? <laughs> Go ahead. and out of his lips a flaming breath and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests the Lord's about to do a lot of destruction too well, I do Matter of fact, he's gonna do more because he said, uh, he said, well, yeah, y'all killed, you know, five thousand, but I killed hundred thousand, and y'all killed, you know, Lord, he'll, he'll tell you, he's the most high, a man of war. Yahweh is his name, right? Go ahead. And they were all mixed together.